Hi, and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a Google form to create a mastery learning quiz. Now, the purpose of this quiz can be several different things. It could be a quiz that you give in a flipped classroom environment where you want the students to learn a little bit about a topic before class the next day, or it could be a quiz that you use for professional development. But whatever the case may be, there are some tools built into Google Forms that can help you. Now, it just so happens I have a couple of questions here that we can set up as a quiz to show you how this works. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna turn on the make this a quiz toggle. So I'm gonna turn it on so that immediately after the respondent has submitted, they'll be able to see their score. And then I'm gonna go back to the questions. But the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to add a separator or a divider between this question and the next one. Now, by breaking up your quiz into sections, you can turn on tools such as go to section based on answer so that your students are required to get an answer right before they're able to move forward. And so here, I'm gonna start by giving this question a correct answer so that they can earn their points. And in this case, evaporate is the correct answer. So I'll click done. And then immediately after that, I'm going to change this section so that there is another separator after the section title. Now, the reason I'm doing that is so that I can give the students a response that says, yes, that was correct, or no, let's try that again. So in this case, I'm going to call this section answer feedback one. And then on this question, I'm going to turn on the go to section based on answer option, which is down on the three dots of below your question. Now, keep in mind, this specific tool is only available in specific questions like multiple choice. So make sure that when you choose your question type, you're aware of whether or not this feature is available in the more menu down here. So I click go to section based on answer. If they answer transpirate, that's the incorrect answer. So I'm going to have them go to answer feedback one. If they answer evaporate, that is the correct answer. So we're going to have them go on to the next section, which I've yet untitled, but I'll name it in just a minute. And then if they answer sublimate, we'll also go to answer feedback one. Down here on answer feedback one, I'll place a description in here that says, looks like you got that one wrong. Let's try again. And after that, where it says continue to next section, we're gonna change that and take them back to the mastery quiz, which is the section at the very beginning of the quiz. Okay, so to give you an idea of what this looks like, I'm gonna go up and click our preview button and it opens the quiz. So I'll go ahead and put in our name. I'll answer incorrectly and then I'll hit next. And you'll notice when I do that, it takes me to the section that says, look like you got that one wrong. Let's try again. So I'll click next and it takes us right back to the beginning. Now, if I answer evaporate and click next, it takes us on to the next question in the quiz. Okay. So there's a lot of different things that you can do here. For instance, if you want them to have feedback as to why that's the wrong answer, then in this section, let's say you add a video. So I'm gonna add a video here on evaporation. We'll look one up on YouTube and we'll find a short little video for them to watch about evaporation. And we need to make sure that that's part of answer feedback one. So we'll put it right here. We'll drag it up there into answer feedback one. And then after watching that video, when they hit next, it should take them back to the question. So you can fully understand everything that's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and name this next section. I'm gonna call it freezing point of water. And then after this question, we'll create a section break. And we'll call this one answer feedback two. And then after that, we're going to put another video about freezing point. 
and we'll find a short video to go there. And we'll just add something quickly here. We're not going to watch it actually. And then after that, we need another section break. Okay. And so here we have a question that if they get correct, it will move on to the next question about the freezing point of water. If they get it wrong, they have answer feedback with a video that will take them back to redo the question. Same thing down here. If they get answer feedback on freezing point of water, to get that, you have to set up the go to section based on answer. So here, the point at which water freezes is zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll choose if they get that one correct, they go on to the next section. If they get it wrong, it goes on to answer feedback two. And then after answer feedback two, we need to change this so that after they've watched the video to learn again, it takes them right back to the freezing point of water. So let's preview that again to see how it works. Put in my name, I get the incorrect answer and hit next. It takes me to a video that I can watch and relearn. When I hit next, I can re-answer the question. Now that it's correct, it will take me to the next section about water. I answer it incorrectly. It will take me to the answer feedback, in this case, another video. If I answer it correctly and hit next, it takes us on to the next question. So the idea here is that by the time a student finishes the quiz, they will have mastered every concept in your quiz by the time they complete it. If they didn't know the content before, they will learn something new because you've given them a review video. But if they already knew the content, it does not force them to watch the video if you don't want them to. So there are lots of other things that you can do that are built into Google Forms that will help with a mastery learning quiz. So watch for other videos later. And if you have questions at any time, just visit me on my website at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks for joining me.